Yeah, we definitely miss it on the calendar and everyone is uh, really excited you know, to be back here. Yeah, you know, I've been coming here for almost 20 years, but uh, it's always a pleasure to come back. We're really excited you know, to, to, be, to be here and, and get started again. I really enjoy you know, being, being back here. <laughs> hey man, you good? It's a long, a long journey, no? A long journey, yeah. You came with the... A fan just told me yesterday that we were going to be at the hockey stadium. I was like, oh, yeah, I have an activation with Red Bull. So it, it all makes sense. What happened in the last race? Thank you. The RS? No, the rear wing broke, break, uh, break in half. So, yeah. You were in a great position, no? Yeah. And also something hit my helmet as well. My helmet was a crack. Your visor? Correct, yeah. Hey, Sebastian, check on us. Hey, you. Yuki, Sebastian, nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome to Montreal. Thank you, man. I would like to focus your attention on what you guys will be wow. using today. <laughs> Stop and go. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea what those two machines are up there? Let's go check them out, come on. Yeah. These machines don't really go that fast. 20 miles an hour, I mean, that's not. So you don't generate any dump for basically? Well, we'll see. Yuki, just jump in. You, unfortunately, don't do any setup with it. Always when you do something with Yuki, it's good entertainment, so... Oh! Yes! That a boy, Yuki! Is it, but, is it more difficult driving if you don't have to hit the brake, if you just have to let off the gas for it to brake? It's hard to gauge, right? Well, like, it's easy because you don't have to gauge anything. You just have to keep yeah, it on. Keep it on. Throttle Last down, huh? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, we need to speak about the track limits. So. Once you get down, bring it up to uh, once you're ready over there. So take it slow down the ramp, and then you can uh, rev it up. Okay, these are a little hints here and there. I had a bit of an advantage because Yuki went first and uh, he went really fast in the first lap, but then lots of parts on the, on the lap after. So I wonder why. But then I found out that there was a switch, you know, that you have to go the rabbit switch. <laughs> oh, a little fast to start. He wasn't using that, so yeah, it was a, I'd say a pretty easy win. Is this, is this his first yeah. lap right yeah. now? Yes. Let's go, Checo! I was mode six and you're like mode one, eh? Yeah, yeah. I was full attack. <laughs> <laughs> we should get rid of modes, uh, mode one or mode two. Yeah. No, rabbit, yeah. mode. rabbit mode, rabbit mode yeah, from yeah. now on. It gives extra power, right? The rabbit. To the extreme to 2,500 RP, uh, RPM, they all go as yeah, high yeah, yeah. as they go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Too late for that. So, it was good that it was a time trial because I wouldn't be jumping in it with Juki, racing Juki in, in, in the Sun Bunnies. <laughs> I think we would run out of Sun Bunnies. Yuki, Done, you want some poutine? Yeah. This is proper food. Yes. We cannot have as much poutine as we would like to, but no. we have to maintain our weight. Yuki! Mm. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know having one? Once upon a time, no. two heroes <laughs> came to shine, walking, flashing up his sun. I think it's raining, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you watch Top Gun? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
my uh, inner maverick, whatever his name is. <laughs> my 30th race um, tribute livery to uh, Nigel Mansell, legend. Yo, Nigel! How's the internet at the moment? Oh, it's going all right. Yeah. I've dropped my headset. That. Secret package. Oh, yeah. Yeah. challenges because we haven't been here in a while uh, to see how the track is and what state it is right how dusty it's going to be just being on the limit being being at it you know it it's a big thing uh, that you have to really keep the uh, very high levels of concentrations because a little mistake is like in a street circuit very much I still very much feel this is going to be a competitive season all the way through and you know we've had some bad luck Ferrari have had some bad luck and that tends to average itself out over the course of the year so let's see how the rest of this championship plays out, but there's still a long, long way to go. We haven't really had a lot of pole positions, so that really shows that over one lap we are clearly not the quickest. We just have to keep on working on trying to find more performance in, in the car. Still very early stages of the year, you know, and um, things can change very quickly, so we just have to remain doing what we're doing, keep improving and learn from our mistakes. So back in the day, I think it was also one of my dad's favorite tracks, so we talked about it a lot. Well, you just really like the chicanes, you know, because you can ride the curbs a bit and it comes a bit more into play than just having a quick car, you know, the way you ride a curb, you can make a difference and stuff like that. fully dry weekend or fully wet weekend you know what to do right but to have that unpredictability that makes it all a bit more tricky to, to get things right you just have to deal with it as it comes you know it can come a thunderstorm all of the sudden and things can change fairly quickly the last few years has never been a, a place where we were looking forward to in terms of performance because we were never really that quick on the straight but I think now we are a lot more competitive on the straight so We'll see, I think every race, every weekend, it's a new challenge, you know, as a, as a car, as a team, uh, it's full of new challenges here. Max, what are your thoughts on conditions? Yeah, it's still a lot of standing water. For where, yeah? For me, yes, at the moment. There's a, a river through there. Oh, I see check off. Check for red light, red light, red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that reverse. Yeah, I mean reverse, but it doesn't go. Okay, okay, so P0, jump out. You are currently purple in all three sectors. Just waiting on Science's lap. Might be close. Yeah, uh, f. Yeah, f. You are Bolt. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I won't say mask class, but you uh, were on top of that whole session. Nice shot. Yeah, what I mean. Very good effort, difficult conditions. It was very lovely, tricky conditions, but I think as a team, you know, we stayed calm, made sure that we were there at the right time uh, with all the calls. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice day, but overall, I think so far, a really good weekend. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> Still, still got his sweet in his mouth. I'm just looking forward to tomorrow. I think it will be still very close between the two teams, but um, yeah, just need to have a clean first lap and then just try to do our own race. Crash land, still I can't find you. And just as things were looking up, we're stuck. Yeah, have a day for, for us. Um, I did a mistake and I feel very sorry for, for the team and uh, I really hope that I, tomorrow I'm able to minimize the damage.
it's been a very wet weekend, as everybody knows. I think everyone here has been maybe sat in the grandstands, um, you know, cheering, cheering Checo on. Uh, but tomorrow it's going to be. Um, apart from today, really. Yeah. Everyone can still hear me. So there's going to be a few few questions, no doubt, from from you guys. So. Yeah, I was just wondering uh, when you're going down that last lap in Monaco, like before you get the win, what's going through your head? It just took everything out of me, and, and when I crossed the line, I was like, wow. Uh, I've won Monaco, you know, so because as a driver, yeah, it's the most special uh, race you can win, you know, together with your home race. What is the most amazing feeling? What is the sentiment most important that you feel when you're inside the car? When you are under pressure, you know, all, all that stress that you're feeling. Um, yeah, to, and, and then crossing the finish line and you don't know what results. Sometimes you win, sometimes you finish P13, but you gave your best and then you can be comfortable with it, you know? That's, uh, that's what I enjoy the most. Thank you, gracias. Great question, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us, Sergio. Yeah, Diego! 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 Slippery, I guess, in the beginning, but then because the more you run, it will be yeah. more aware again. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Good luck, champ. Good luck, champ. I love cars, and and you know, obviously, we can't go as fast as these people, but um, it's just great, man. And I met Max today, so that was awesome. That was cool. Nah, it's been so nice to meet you, man. Thank you for letting us no hang out. I know, I know what it takes when you know it's competition day, but we're still giving so us the good, time. So good, so good. Appreciate Don't it, worry. man. Thank right. you. Thank I you hope so you much. have a good day. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. I'll give you this one. Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you very much. Appreciate you so much, yeah. man. Thank you. you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm elite now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Stop playing with me. <laughs> yeah. I just want to have fun, enjoy it. It's my first time. Um. So. So yeah, I love it. Let's go, guys, man. We all behind you. Uh, we support you guys and. You guys are incredible, and, and, and I'm sure you guys will do it. So let's go, Rebel. It's looking quite sunny actually today, mate. Mark with a chance of a win. Air temperature is currently 18 degrees. Okay, to the grid, please, mate. The first time I came here it was all about trying to find the balance between top speed and, and cornering slash curving because that's really important around here, plus finding that confidence on, on the brakes. At the end of the day it's important to win your races and be as consistent as you can be. Lost cars driving back the grid now. Okay, so the car behind now signs. Max, there's already some reports of front left graining. Take a good job here. I, I love the engine. I love the engine, man. Yeah. I'm stuck in gear. Box and pick confirm, please. Box, pick confirm under the SC. What happened there? Okay, we push from here now, Max. Push from here. Press and hold the overtake, please, Max. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we lost the gearbox. A uh, bit shame, you know, because we didn't want to to go home with nothing. A uh, very painful day, but we need to get still on top of these reliability issues. You know, we have to to keep working hard and, and look forward for for the next weekend. Okay, so car behind now, signs. Yeah, 0.8 signs DRS. 
Gap 0.95, only just has DRS. Mode 4, mode 4 and final lap. Click the overtake, exit turn 4. Just under one second. The check it flag, Max. Oh, what an end. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. I'm not sure you can hear us. We can't hear you, but that was amazing. Withstood the, all the pressure. Brilliant, brilliant drive. Save yourself for the interviews, Max. We can't hear you, mate. As Christian said, though, big delivery under uh, big pressure. Drove like a champion today, mate. Well done. Yeah, I mean, the last bit was quite tough, and the gap was always like 7, 8, 10, so... I couldn't afford a mistake, but uh, yeah, we we, uh, we dealt with the pressure and we could win the race. But it was a it was a tricky race. A lot of different things were happening, of course, with the VC safety cars. Not entirely great for us in terms of when they came, but you know that's that's racing. These things can happen. It's been a really good week for me. I really enjoyed my time here at Prince also Montreal. So, yeah, great, great weekend overall. Of course, a shame that, that Checker retired for the team. Um, but yeah, we'll investigate all of that and we'll, uh, we'll come back even stronger for, for the next week. Yeah. Oh, no, it's quite nice when you can't hear the rain. <laughs> oh, it's a very so peaceful cool. race. I, yeah. I didn't actually realize the radio was broken until like five. Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice to win, first of all, but it's of course also nice to, to win on, on venues, you know, where I've never won before. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's great and it was also great to be back and that's so I, I never really looked at these kind of things, podiums or whatever, so I'm not too bothered about comparing things. It's the same in football, like, who's the best football player ever? I don't like this comparison between Pele, you know, or Messi. You should just appreciate what is current, right? And just appreciate all the, the good players around. You.